This is the Indian Scout and today I'm going to tell you why I think this is the best motorcycle that India makes, period. Let's go and get right into it. If the Indian Scout is a bike that you're looking at, I'm going to give you a lot of information here to kind of help you along. So this is a new 2023 Indian Scout bobber. One thing to know about the Scout series is you have the Scout 60 and then the regular Scout, no matter if that's the Rogue, the bobber, or again, the regular Scout. So the 60 series is gonna be 78 horsepower. The Scout series, the regular series, will be 100 horsepower. But essentially from there, minus a few little changes from the seats to the bars to some of the badging, they're pretty much the same bike. So you may be asking, well, why would I go with the regular Scout over like the 60? That's a great question, I'm glad you asked. The Scout 60 is ideal if you've never swung your leg over a motorcycle in your life. Now, is it the best first motorcycle? There might be some others that are a little bit better, a little bit lighter, a little bit less power, because even 78 horsepower in a bike this light, it'll surprise you how quickly this thing will get up and go. Now, the Scout 60 has a five-speed transmission. The regular Scout has a six-speed. Ideally, if you're brand, brand new, I would say the Scout 60 is the way to go. If you have any riding experience at all though, the regular Scout in that 100 horsepower and the six speed transmission is light years above the 60 series. Big thanks to American Biker for letting us come out so I could get some footage and tell you why I think this is the best Indian that they make. If you need something, a new Indian or a used Harley, come see Rob at American Biker. Again, big thanks to those guys. So we have the regular Scout, we have the Scout Bobber, then you have the Scout Rogue. Then of course, there's the Scout 20 as well. So there's a lot of different options here, but the reason that this is the best bike that Indian makes is pretty simple. It comes down to three things. First of all, the seat height. 25.6 inches means that most people, no matter how tall you are, can flat foot this motorcycle. Now I've been riding consistently about five years now. I still like to be able to flat foot my bike. I ride a bigger, heavier cruiser, but regardless, this is something where you're like, okay, I get my feet on the ground. It's confidence inspiring. And that's what this bike is at its core and being able to reach the ground, knowing that you're in control when you come to a stop, man, that really helps out new and returning riders. That's one of the reasons this bike is as popular and good as it is. But there's also the next reason. The Scout is a great platform to grow into. So where some bikes where you have, let's say a Rebel, a uh, Rebel 300 or a Rebel 500 or you know one of the really small beginner bikes, whereas something like this at 100 horsepower, 550 pounds, this is something you could add an additional seat to. You can change the bars if you want. Let's say you get one of the bobbers and you're like, man, I really want the, 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 the handlebars from the Scout 20. You wanna put a passenger on the back of the motorcycle. You wanna put bags eventually on it. That's something you can all do. And even if you talk about 78 horsepower in the 60 or 100 in the Scout, that 100 horsepower in that Scout is gonna give you a bike that you can ease into, but you can grow into and you're not gonna be tired of it three months down the road. That is a bonus for this motorcycle because it gives you plenty of power off the rip, but it's still forgiving enough to where if you make a mistake, it, it's not like you're gonna go down instantly. It still has that sweet spot of, yeah, that's a great beginner bike, but it's also forgiving, but then it's also something that you can grow into. Fantastic balance here in the Scout series. And the last reason I think this is the best motorcycle that India makes is simply the variety of them. Indian knows that they sell a lot of scouts. So if you want the bobber look, if you want the mini apes, if you want the fairing, if you want the windshield, if you want the bags, if you want it, all of this kind of stuff coming in at anywhere from 11 grand, 12 and a half grand, somewhere in there, it's still something that a ton of people can afford. It's at that almost perfect price really of a beginner coming into this. Now, I know some people will be like, man, that's way too much for a beginner bike. You should be at like, you know, three or four grand. But if you're somebody that you're like, man, I don't wanna work on a bike. I just want, I want a new bike, but I want something I can ease into. This offers a lot, but it also doesn't look like every single 
Sportster on the road. You know what I mean? It has an aggressive look, but each one is wildly different from the next. So I believe the Indian Scout is the best bike that they make because it can fit a lot of different people, no matter if you're returning, a new rider, or you just want something to cruise around town or commute on, this bike can fit a lot of different roles and it is fantastic. So I'm gonna hop on this thing, rip it around a little bit. I've rode the Scout a bunch, but I just wanna get back on one really quick and just take it for a quick spin. Why don't you guys come with me? Oh yeah, there's that Scout power I've been looking for. So a couple more things I want to talk about and why the Scout is so fantastic. So India makes a lot of great motorcycles, but this has some distinct advantages when it comes to styling. You know, I know when I first came back into this, I know how much I loved the, the Iron 883 and how much I loved the Scout and how, you know, just awesome they look for an around town ripper. And if I were to go back and do it again, I probably would have bought one of these as my first motorcycle. Now, one thing I'm having an issue with right now is I don't like the bars on the Scout Bobber, okay? But if I were to buy one of these, I could buy the Rogue, right? Or I could even buy a regular Scout where the bars come back to me a little bit. That's one of the nice things about it. You have all of these options to you where you don't have to settle. Like some bikes, let's just say the Iron 883 again. I don't want to pick on that bike because it's a, it's a great starting platform. But if you want those options straight from the factory and you just want to get on and ride it and you want a more comfortable ride, boom, you have a lot to choose from. Of course, you have a ton of colors to choose from as well. And you know, that's always a nice thing. You have ABS on this bike. And one of the best things about the Scout series, forward controls. Now you may think, ah, mid controls, that, that doesn't really sound comfortable to me at all. But trust me, man, when you ride with mid controls under your feet and, and you get that squished up type of feeling compared to this, this is so much better. It's so easy to ride. It's easy to figure out. There's not a ton of electronics on these bikes that's gonna throw you for a loop, you know? There's not a ton of stuff to figure out here. You got your turn signals, your horn, your high beam, low beam, you start it up, turn the key, you know what I mean? Like, there's not a lot going on here to confuse even the, the most beginner of motorcycle riders it's easy to maneuver as well see and just do a you know quick little u-turn so when you first start out doing u-turns and and being able to do some of this stuff is going to be important and you can learn on a big bike but you could also learn on something like this you could put yourself a set of crash bars so if and when you drop it you're not going to ruin your motorcycle you pick it back up you're good to go and you know that's another thing everybody at some point will drop their motorcycle if you drop something like this it's going to be easy to get back up and and get on it again i feel like the the bigger motorcycles can be intimidating so the idea is where you can ride something that you feel comfortable with So you can tell how I could just ease into it or I can open it up a little bit. This is, this is such a great balance. It's not something that you get in a lot of quote unquote beginner motorcycles, that ability to do that. On a beginner motorcycle or a traditional beginner motorcycle or one with a little bit less power, the only way to get more power 
is to go into the engine do stuff like that or buy another motorcycle whereas this you can be as easy as you need to be to start and once you start getting the hang of it you can just kind of open that throttle up a little bit more and more and it's fun to rip around on you also have leds straight from the factory i'm a big fan of leds man some would say a proponent of leds because you want to be seen on the road as much as possible and leds are so much better at showing other drivers hey yeah i'm a small profile but i'm still here let's get back to the shop and i'll finish my thoughts out here so when i come to a stop it's so smooth i could put my foot down and I have no issues with it. I can reach the kickstand. There's so many different variables like that that make this such an incredible bike. Now, don't get me wrong. Let me tell you about some of the limitations too of the Scout because there are some, and that of course is storage, right? You can get bags for these things, but generally speaking, the storage is gonna be lacking. That's something you're going to have to add to it. Also, fuel capacity you have a 3.3 gallon tank so you're not going to get as much as a big bagger suspension that's something if you're going to ride two up you're going to want to upgrade that suspension it's just not enough travel there to comfortably go down the road seat <laughs> these seats look absolutely incredible they do no service to your butt after 75 miles 100 i mean really i've been on one of these the max i've been on one of these is like 15 miles or something and i hated that thing almost instantly and then of course it's just kind of figuring out what kind of bars do you want this is important to me because i don't want to be hunched over you know i have back issues and whatever a lot of people do i want to be in a more natural position so for me personally the regular scout and also the Scout Rogue is the way to go. But you're not locked into these bars as soon as you buy this. You're not locked into this styling. I mean, I don't even really believe you're locked into this housing that looks really good, but if you want more protection, of course you can add a windscreen. So there's a lot of different things this bike will offer with some limitations at the same time. Everything I just said, pros and cons alike, I think that this is the best bike that Indian makes. I'd love to hear what your opinion is of this down in the comments section below. If you enjoy what I do here, consider subscribing to the channel. Join the channel if you want to support what I do or come over to Patreon as well. I'd love to grow that community, man. Thank you for being a part of it. See you in the next one. And as always, hold the rubber side down.